Hello. Today I'm going to be eating a bunch of Stilton cheese, a blue cheese from England before bed, and I'm going to see if it gives me any weird dreams. A while back I read that eating Stilton before bed will give you interesting dreams and that you'll actually remember them. So I was reading more on the internet and I actually found some trip reports on Arrowhead, which is a website where people write trip reports for drugs. And there are two about Stilton cheese. One is titled, Do Not Eat the Rind, and the other is titled, Stilton Cheese Trip. So I will read you a quote from, Do Not Eat the Rind. I don't know what time I woke up. I was bleary. It had been a bad trip. Dream. I blame eating the rind. Do not eat the rind. In all caps. From what I remember, I was in a room sitting on a chair. The only other thing in this bluish-white room much like the color of the cheese, was a picture. I forgot what the picture was of, but as I was sitting there, dread, evinced by a definite upset stomach, filled me. Then an old lady came out of the picture, like in the ring. I realized then it was a dream, and I was on the verge of waking up, but certainly not soon enough. I was paralyzed and tried to scream, but couldn't get out any sound, despite my open mouth. The old lady turned into ectoplasm, and then started to flow into my throat chakra. I woke up at that point with a distinct conception or idea of physically pulling this ectoplasm out of my throat area. And then the next paragraph begins. I wake up, briefly. All I remember in the morning was that the dream involved cows. So yeah, I'm going to eat some of this cheese, which I have right here. And I'm going to see if I have any weird dreams If I have any weird dreams or if I remember them. So let's open this up. This is an English blue Stilton, pasteurized cow's milk, cultures, salt, vegetarian reddit, and penicillium. And I got it from the wine and cheese store near my apartment. So you're supposed to eat at least 20 grams of it. Here it is. But I think a little more just to be sure that if it's going to work, it works. There it is, and I am going to cut it. The person who wrote the other review said that it was very strong and difficult to eat that much of it, but I believe in myself. Hope I don't get any of these crumbs on my bed. Okay, so while I'm eating the cheese, it is pretty strong, but it's... Uh-oh, there goes the knife. It is pretty strong, but it's good. While I'm eating the cheese... Oh, no, I am getting crumbs everywhere. Um, I will read you more of one of the other reviews. This person wrote, There was a recent spate of reports in the media about the next possible drug craze, Stilton cheese. Apparently 20 grams of it before bed causes phantasmagorical dreams. Wow. The media has obviously failed in its attempts to kickstart the next drug controversy, but I decided to experiment with Stilton now before the moral majority and the granola-eating fascists join forces to prevent people from altering their consciousness and clogging their arteries. Interesting. I don't expect that much to happen, but I just thought it would be fun to give it a try. Yeah, this is getting to be a lot. It's a lot of cheese. It's good, but it would probably be better with bread or something. I'm sure my roommate can hear me recording this too. So, it's fun. Alright. Um, I guess I'll report back in the morning and let you know how it goes. Hi. So, after eating the cheese last night, I did have a dream, not a very interesting one, but I did remember it. And in my dream, I was in an airport in the Midwest, I'm not really sure where, and I was waiting in this basement room for someone to pick me up and take me to my grandfather's house. And it took forever, and I just waited around there for a very long time, and I looked up all the possible ways to get to my grandfather's house, but I didn't know the address. This grandfather doesn't even live in the Midwest, by the way. And eventually, someone finally came and got me. 
So that was my experience eating Stilton cheese before bed. If any of you try it, please let me know. I mean, at least I remembered the dream. It was a vivid dream. It just wasn't very thrilling. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.